Uh, neonatal respiratory morbidity was defined as distress syndrome of neonates and tachypnea of, <laughs> and, and, excuse me, and transient tachypnea of neonates. Uh, to evaluate the study, we use a software and it's 100% non-invasive and we only require an image of each subject. We use 144 subjects that are fetuses and we just acquired one image per fetus and the image should be a four chamber uh, level acquisition of the fetal thorax. Once the image is uploaded to the software, the physician must delineate a region of interest that should be in the proximal lung and then in a few minutes the, they get the result. We compared the prediction made by the system with the real clinical outcome. So we compared the software prediction with neonatal respiratory morbidity and the, the sensitivity, specificity, positive and negative predictive value were similar than those obtained with the current invasive methods. So in using this non-invasive method, we, can, we could achieve the uh, same prediction that the one obtained with uh, the, current, the current invasive ones. So. Excellent. Thank you. So I have a little question. Sure. Do you remember the likelihood ratio for a positive result and a negative result? Uh, no. Are, are these the same data that are impressed in the American, in the yeah, white sure. journal? So the likelihood ratio of a positive result is six, and the likelihood ratio in the negative results is 0 0.13, you know, okay. so, which is a moderate test. But it's, a, it's an advance, um, in our opinion, because you can do this non-invasively without requiring an amniocentesis. Yeah, sure, the, the results should be improved, and if, of course it's not a 100% test, but the, the main goal of the test is that it's 100% non-invasive. Do we have any questions? It's a very interesting modality, I think. If not, thank you. Thank you.